Hey guys, welcome to Shop Dog Fabrication. So we are all loaded up for six summer 2024. So we're getting ready to head out to Byron Dragway tomorrow morning. Um, we got to stop at uh, Rockford, Illinois first to get the one of the nitrous bottles topped off and then we'll head over to the track, get unloaded. We're going to camp there for the next couple of nights. So coming out to Byron Dragway, um, you know, Sunday and Monday, check things out. Tuesday, we'll be down at Cordova Dragway. Wednesday, over to Iowa, Tri-State, then up to um, Wisconsin uh, and then down back to Byron. So uh come on out check us out at six summer 2024 you can go to sick the mag check it out um you know for the schedule events and all that kind of stuff stop by say hello we'll see you uh we'll see you guys there all right guys it is saturday i don't know maybe around six o'clock finally stopped raining um so everybody's starting to show up into the uh you know that's camping and getting unloaded that kind of thing you know we're uh we're on spectator side over here. That's where they're going to have us uh, camp out. Um, leave our trucks and trailers here. I was just talking with Dean right here. He's got a, like 62, 63, um, four, you know, little Nova. Um, right here, got the Rymars family. Kind of over there is Corey. You see the green car, Corey Pant. Um, you know, some of the others that I know here. So yeah, we're going to, we got the car loaded. Um, now we're gonna pull, unhook the trailer, pull the truck up, find a couple of bodies, and we'll get the uh, little trailer unloaded. And then uh, we'll probably set the tent up and stuff so we can uh, camp out for the night. All right, guys, so we got the tent set up, ready to camp. You see somebody else over there has got their tent set up. Dean over here, like I said, his camper is gonna be camping out. So is uh, the Rymars family and, you know, quite a few others, so bunch of people have I think just dropped off and have left to the hotel and like this guy they just dropped off and you can see a couple of those over there so anyway that's Saturday night for you now to have a little dinner a beer or two and kick back and relax for the evening Well, good morning, everyone. It is 6 a.m. And we we know one and two is for Express Tech, but we don't know where everything else is supposed to go. So a couple other cars started firing up and bringing their cars up. So we're like, all right. So we started a line. So Pitts will get uh, everybody, woke everybody up. Everybody's starting to make their way around. So we'll figure out once Keith Turk gets here, where we're supposed to uh, get in line at. So anyway, welcome to day zero of 2024 sick week, or sick summer. All right, everybody, here's a little layout of Byron Dragway. So here's staging lights. And then they'll pull you up here. And actually, you'll drive around the board. They'll have you back up into the water box um you know you'll do your burnout and then you'll go on stage and make your pass and you come back on tower side you know, there's pits down there pits along over here and there's a little bit of pit space on the back side there not much so just a little layout of uh of this you can see right here we're all lined up ready to wait for tech now so yeah we're early but um at least now we can get a good pit spot afterward and go from there All right, guys, it is 7.50 in the morning. Corey's through tech. You know, here's the, uh, the nice pit area, right? I'm set up there. Um, we got some you know, stuff set there so the Rymars family can park next to me. And you can see everybody in the staging lane. So, um, you know, they're full uh, of cars. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go over to the tent here in a second, get my um, banner and goodie bag whatever they're giving out and then uh we're gonna switch out the carburetor because i'm done with it so i tried a few more things and i'm going back to the uh the og the one that's working 
All right, guys, since the staging lanes are full of cars, they now, here is the overflow where they're starting to pull cars. You go see it goes down, it goes around, kind of over there, it's coming around. So cars coming over here to pit, cars coming in here to try to get through tech. Yeah, this is gonna be a good time. So we swapped out the carburetor for the OG, uh, giving up on that one. <laughs> and we broke a uh, trailer light. Um, one of the wires popped loose, the ground wire. So I had no trailer lights going through tech. So we just got that fixed. So we are good to go. And Cole is finally cleaning his car after being a slacker at home. <laughs> so. I think we're ready. All I gotta do is set the tire pressure and you can see you guys, uh, tech. These looks like the last two cars over here. I don't even, I think it's, I don't know, maybe around noon. And you can see there's still quite a few cars over there going through tech. Looks like uh, they still have about six lanes full. So they're getting towards the end of it. Here, I'll take a video of you, you take a video of me. <laughs> All right, guys, so Rick's um, Willie's here is a fiberglass front end, steel cab, and homemade bed uh, running, I think, a 460 or 470 something cubic inch, um, big block Ford. And uh, he was testing here last week running 980, so they limited him to 10 O's. So uh, Rick's going to run, I think it's B gas, um, hitting 10 O's this week. So that's Jace's car, his LTD, he'll be running 14s. Mike's car, he'll be going to try to run like 990s. And, you know, I'm going to try to run 11.2-ish. And then Cole, I'm not sure what Cole's going to run yet, but uh, he's going to try to run a personal best all game. So we'll, uh, we'll kind of see what's going around here in a few minutes, what kind of cars we got. Alex Taylor is right up there getting text in, and so is Alan. Um, couple of the faster cars on the property. I have not seen uh, Goldstone, although I know he is here. Uh, and so there's some of the few of the other cars. So yeah, it's turning out to be a beautiful day. It's almost noonish. Looks like they're getting through the last of the cars and hopefully we'll get up to the line soon. We can make a couple of uh, couple passes. All right guys, so if you look here, there is the big Jumbotron set up for the uh you know freedom plus uh video stuff so you know we'll have uh maybe we'll be able to catch you know some of the passes on the jumbotron and you know also some of the video on my stuff all right guys we are in the lanes um for our first test pass uh we went back to the original carburetor um you know the og back in secondary 750 and uh, we're just going to check the AFR ratios, uh, no nitrous is passed. Make a nice A to B, check the gauges, and make sure that uh, reads somewhere in the 12, 7, 13 area. So uh, hang tight, we'll flip the camera around, make a pass, and see how we do. So you can see the lanes are packed. Now it's uh, all the C and D cars. 
So all the CND cars now are getting out here to uh, make a lick, you know, get a practice run in. So a lot of cars. Oh, hey, there's Rick getting ready to go. So Rick is one of the guys I'm riding with again in the wheelies. So we'll see how his pass comes because he's uh, getting ready to go here in a second. I'll walk up and uh, film this one. So on our test session, um, 1070 whatever, which is about kind of what I was shooting for. Um, you know, it's hot. I pulled the four degrees of timing out, so we're good there. I'm gonna make one more pass. I just want to make sure that the car is good, um, you know, consistent, and then uh, we'll put the bottle to it tomorrow. Uh, Rick made a pass, 1001. He is tech to go 10 -0, so he pretty much nailed his dial and his gasser at 1001. Can't go any faster than that. Cole ran a 10.30 something. Um, nice A to B pass. And then Jace is getting ready to make his first ever pass down the drag strip. So we walked him down the drag strip, me and his uncle, and kind of showed him where the state, you know, where how you're gonna do your burnout, where you're gonna stage your beams, you know, um, where the 60 foot cone is, 330, eighth mile, you know, where the quarter mile cones are. Um, you know, because the quarter the cones are past the boards, so you've got to drive past, you know, the boards, you know, for the ET and mile per hour cones uh, here. So, and then we talked to him about, you know, turning off, watching for the other cars, you know, you know all that stuff. Um, so, hopefully, he can make a nice little A to B pass. I'll catch that on video here. His first ever burnout, you know, in the, in the box. You know, his first ever pass down a drag strip. Um, I won't be able to catch his reaction because I'm back in the lanes again. Um, but, uh, you know, we're going to go out and have fun. Then uh, I need to make a trip into town, get a, I pounded like eight or nine waters. Um, you know, I, it's, it's hot. So I need to pick up some Gatorades and a bag of ice. Um, there's a pizza party tonight. Uh, I need to change the plugs in this because, um, you know, the uh, from the other carburetor, they're foul. So I didn't want to change them out until I made these passes and got to check the AFR. So the AFR could get a little better, um, you know, with new plugs and burning cleaner. So we'll pop a new set of plugs in yet this evening, probably after the pizza party when it cools down a little bit, or I'll do it first thing in the morning since, you know, they'll run like the AB cars first and, you know, I can just take a few minutes and, you know, swap them out then. So I've got two sets of plugs with me, the one that I, you know, clean with a plug cleaner and another set there are actually brand spanking new. So that's kind of where we're at. So, uh, yeah, this is, they are finishing up the two lanes to me to the right. And then I think Jace is the first lane to my left, and I'm kind of in the middle of it all. Um, I think there's, I'm like the fifth lane over from the left. So they're going, finishing up the right two lanes, which there's two, you know, two rows of cars over there. I think 11 and 12 was those lanes, and then they'll come back over to three, and what is it, three, four, five, so I guess I'm lane seven maybe. And then we'll make, like I said, my second pass, park it for the night, pack everything up, lock it up, and um, yeah, like I said, run into town, get a couple things, come back to the pizza party. And we will take some video of the pizza party. All right, guys, Jace is getting ready to make his first ever pass down the drag strip. They're bringing him into the water box.
And okay, a little burnout. You got the tires at least spinning. Looks like he's hit all the gears. Hey, 1449, 93. Hey, look at that. Woo! <laughs> we got it. All right, guys, back in the lanes for pass number two coming up. Just a few cars till we go. Again, just an AFR check. Nothing fancy. But great job by Jace for making a nice little A to B. Uh, I see back there somewhere that he's back in the lanes again. He wants to make another pass, so he must have had a good time. Um, so yeah, good for Jace. Uh, looks like uh, hopefully all the waiting around, you know, and he's going to make a pass and, or another pass and have a, a little more fun. So uh, see if he can learn to do a little better burnout, and, you know, hit all his marks and have a good time. So he's only 16, you know, just got his license, you know, and he's out here having a good time. So that's what it's all about. All right, guys, that was much better. Um, the AFR was a whole lot more consistent on that pass at 12.5. I'd like to see it at a little bit cleaner, but I don't really want to pull too much more fuel out of this thing. So we have been running a little richer. So uh, I pulled three jet sizes out of the secondaries um, before I made these two passes. And uh, so that was a much better, cleaner pass. Um, like I said, AFR about 12.5, the whole run up through all three gears. So that's where we're going to leave it for tomorrow. Hook the bottle up and let it eat. See what we can do. So hang on a second. We'll get the slip and see if it was a similar pass or a little better. But um, either way, I was able to do what I wanted to do today. Thank you. a little slower um, much better 60 foot oh so it definitely 60 footed better um, by a tenth you know 330 so I was kind of losing it a little towards the big end um, so I'm happy with that because we had a better 60 like I said we were able to get through all the gears a good 12 and a half AFR much better than the 12 I had been kind of going which is rich um, so I'm we're good for today. I think uh, we'll dump the fuel in it that I have. I got two and a half gallons in the gas can. We'll dump that in there, get the tank a little fuller. Because, um, you know, we're just running DYO. It's not like I'm trying to run my fastest pass. Uh, so I would need to be more consistent than fast. So anyway, guys, see ya. All right, guys, so I am going to get to see Jace's second run today. So it's real windy, so if you hear a lot of static and stuff, it's all right. See if you can do a little better burnout.
kind of wraps up uh, day zero or tech day. Um, good day overall. Uh, you know, I was only to make a couple of nice runs. Make sure the AFR is good for the nitrous starting tomorrow. It was great to see Jace make a couple passes there. You know, his first time ever in a drag strip, first time at our event. You know, he ran 1449, 1448. Very consistent car. Um, you know, the announcer was having some, you know, some fun with them. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, the kid's having a great time, which is awesome to see. Uh, the whole family actually is. Uh, so, with that, guys, um, the pizza party is basically, you know, get a slice of pizza. Um, if you want to buy a water bottle or beer, you can. So, I've got a beer here in the cooler. I think I'm going to have one here when it cools down a little bit. And then finish putting the tent back together because it was extremely windy today. Um, I tried to lube up. I'm sure I got a little bit burnt. Uh, today and uh, I got to put the cover back or the canopy back over the tent um, because it was just so windy it was whipping the tent around it's actually uh, you know died down now so once it cools off or I cool off a little bit because I'm sitting in the truck in the air conditioning I'm trying to get the scooter charged up for tomorrow and uh, yeah we're gonna sit down like I said have a beer um, bite to eat and kind of kick back and relax for the evening it is I don't even know what time it is I think it's like 6 30 Ah, 6.11. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you for taking the time to watch Day Zero. Uh, fun day, you know, overall, like I said, did what we want to do, do and accomplish. So tomorrow, you know, the real fun starts. Um, you know, my goal is just to go out and just have a good time. If I won and done it every day, I won and done it every day. You know, we'll go to the checkpoints and have some fun. Um, after sick week, I just want to make sure the car is sound again. You know, for a drag week when, you know, we'll probably up the nitrous a little bit so I can defend my title. Uh, I won the 32 car DYO class, uh, or I'm sorry, 32 car shootout in the Street Machine Eliminator class. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, again, thank you for taking the time to watch. I know it wasn't maybe the most exciting video, but, you know, hopefully as we go through the week, uh, you know, hang out with the Rymar's family and, um, you know, uh, uh, Sean and, uh, his son Zach and um, Jeff and uh, yeah, Jeff is a stepdad to Corey so you know we have a good time with them as well and then catch up with everybody like Raj and you know a bunch of the other people that I've met over the years so we'll see how uh, how their weeks go anyway I'm you know rambling rambling so we'll talk to y'all uh, I guess on day one